Hi, I'm Jonathan Manner and we're here in Pico America Service Department and today we want to talk to you a, a little bit about some of the great Pico HO and InScale building kits that are available from your Pico retailer or from our website. We're going to start off with some of the Hobby Line HO building kits. The most expensive of, of these kits, there are 14 of them and the most expensive of them is $18.99 and some are under $15. They're fantastic little kits um, and a lot of these kits look European but a lot of them can fit in very well on an American style layout as well. These all come with uh, American language signs. You see the little Bergstein switch tower that also comes with uh, uh, signs for Castle Rock so it can fit right in on your American style layout. Uh, that's a great little kit. A neat feature of the Pico kits is the separately molded uh, windows and doors in different colors from the main wall sections so you don't have to do any nasty uh, messy uh, masking and painting, hand painting or spray painting. Uh, makes it really easy to get a, a good looking kit. Uh, you may still want to paint the walls uh, you know, with some, some uh, plastic compatible spray paint or even brush paint them uh, just for a more realistic look. Uh, in fact, uh, we'll show you a, a picture here of one of the uh, Pico kits, the little Bergstein station. Uh, I took this one myself and I actually cut a little piece of uh, uh, scrap plastic and set it in there as a, as a second floor and put a little figure or two in there and, and painted the back wall so it looks like there's some people in there in the switch tower. I put a light in it and you can do all of those things easily. I painted it a little bit, uh, put a little bit of different coloring on the roof tiles and I love this kit. Uh, it can fit in anywhere from uh, on the New Haven Railroad in Connecticut to uh, some railroads in Illinois to definitely uh, the mission style with the tile roof in, in California. So there's a lot of uh, versatility in a kit like that. And we'll also show you one, one kit that's uh, a great companion to that, the Bergstein Station. And again, a lot of possibilities for making that more American looking. Uh, and just to show you some of the nice, nice uh, details you can bring out with a little bit of painting and weathering. So great kits. And again, uh, in fact, those uh, most of those come with, uh, you'll see in the, uh, in the building, the window coverings, the curtains and drapes. They come with the clear plastic window material. And one fantastic thing, if you've built any of the plastic kits that are on the market, uh, you you've probably have struggled and had to sand and file to get walls to line up and fit squarely. You won't have to do that with these kits. They fit very precisely. Uh, there's no flash, almost, almost none and the kits just go together extremely well. And we'll show you just a few more. Again, there's 14 of the Hobby Line building kits. Here's a neat little uh, gas station. That's typical of the middle 20th century. That could be, it, this is an Aral gas station from Germany, but it could be anywhere in America as well. So just change out the signs and I think you'll be really pleased with that. Uh, neat little church, could be any little uh, country church uh, somewhere on your layout. So lots of great kits. Nice little uh, brick shop building, uh, like a, a little store. Uh, could be on, on Main Street on your railroad. And a little uh, oil. Well, this one is for an oil handler. Uh, you see the little barrels of oil. It's a, just a neat little uh, office uh, warehouse kind of building. That, that fits in any industrial uh, scene or a commercial retail scene. So great possibilities and again they're so economical. Um, here's a, a neat little trackside warehouse that could be uh, on an American layout very easily. Uh, great little factory building and that's a, an interesting example. Um, you could take that and just remove if you don't like that arched roof uh, just remove those parts and put in a uh, cut a little piece of rectangular flat plastic to be a, a flat roofed factory on your layout. And last but not least, uh, this is one of the most popular in the Hobby Line uh, kit range. If I cover up this little European diesel switcher, uh, this could be a an engine house on any little short line. Uh, neat little uh, brick 
engine house. Uh, great, just single stall, wonderful details. Would look beautiful on your layout. So those are some of those are the hobby line building kits. That's not all of them, but uh, give them a try. I think you'll be pleased. And we're going to go next to the HO Classic line. Uh, these are a little more expensive, but beautiful kits. And again, with the separately molded windows and doors in different colors. Uh, this is an interesting, anywhere from the 50s on up to the 80s. Uh, buildings. Yes, this is an East German uh, an apartment building, but I've seen buildings like this in my own city. Uh, very very uh, kind of stark industrial looking, um, but great, great details if you want authentic looking buildings from that time period. A neat little apartment building and that's modular so you could add combine multiple kits to get more uh, more stories to that apartment block and or flats as you call them on the east coast and there are some other buildings that are in that series that are similar style as well here's a great um, factory and there are several different factory buildings and complexes in the classic HO line uh, and this is a beautiful kit and quite extensive and these are somewhat modular so you can combine parts and kit bash them into making something a little bit different than what was shown on the cover and here's another factory uh, we call this uh, a, a steam locomotive uh, workshop but it could be any kind of a factory building and it's got the neat uh, crane uh, which adds a lot of extra detail to it and then we're going to move on to InScale, and by the way, there are 41 different HO Classic line kits. And we're going to move on to InScale, where we have a dozen different kits. Um, these are beautiful kits. This is a pretty good size factory building in InScale. A nice, nice uh, brick factory building with a smokestack. Um, some interesting little annexes, so it gives it a lot of variety. And again, some somewhat modular construction, so you can recombine things. Uh, there's a neat little uh, warehouse. Uh, this could be a printer's shop or a warehouse or anything down in an industrial area on your railroad. Uh, and that's again a neat, neat little brick, brick uh, building. And a freight forwarder's warehouse, uh, similar to the other one, just more great buildings to fill in your industrial area. And in our in scale product line, this is the number one seller by far. And it's a transformer uh, station or a complex uh, of power transformers. And, you know, I drive at least once or twice a week down a road and drive right past one of these and hardly even notice it. Uh, just kind of it's there and it's usually tucked in between a couple other buildings and a little corner or something. And it's a great detail. Uh, and this does have a lot of little details with all the wires. Uh, makes a beautiful finished mod model and again you can combine multiple kits to make a bigger complex. So there's just a few options from the Pico building kit line to give you some ideas for what you can do with Pico building kits on your railroad. Most of all have fun with it and make it something special.